The time is well overdue for a Center for Advanced Aviation Training uh, here in Duluth, in the heartland of America, in the North Country. Things are happening in Duluth. The vision is for a world-class center. So if ever there was a time to diversify and to leverage what we now have in aviation, it is today. You need to be ahead of the curve in making sure you're training for the jobs that are available. The aviation industry is no longer just local. It's national and it's also international. A billion people traveled by air last year worldwide. 650 million of that billion traveled in the U.S. airspace. We have the world's largest open, growing, fastest moving aviation market. It demands the very best in people and technology. Over the next 10 years, we're going to see 18,000 new light jets sold into business. Who's going to service that aircraft? Who's going to build that aircraft? Who's going to design it? Uh, so I think the opportunity for Lake Superior College uh, is enormous in terms of meeting the demand for technical people, um, pilots, anybody that's related to aviation. Well, the vision really for the center is that it is uh, an area where we can concentrate on general aviation and advanced aviation programming, bringing together um, all of the partners that we have within the community. Uh, working with Cirrus Design, Monaco Air, North Star Aerospace, uh, city government, and really looking at how we can build the economy, build the region, and cluster that around the education that would take place within the Center for Advanced Aviation. All of the activity that's around Cirrus really drives uh, tremendous momentum in the aviation sector in, in, in Duluth. Um, they're putting out 15 airplanes a, a week now. They, earlier this year, they completed a major uh, expansion. You have to realize that when you're building an airplane, you're building a product that somebody is going to get in and trust their life to. It's a little different than building a lawn chair. So the reality of it is that we have to have not just a, an employee of, 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 with some basic knowledge. We have to have people that come in and execute the plan and build the plane and build their products every day, consistently, 100% right, 100% of the time. We see ourselves as providing a whole new system to our customers that's much more user-friendly. It's got in, uh, modern avionics. It's got uh, all of the modern safety technologies incorporated, including airbag seat belts and parachutes. So there's a lot of things that we do differently, and with that comes a demand for a much more skilled worker, if you will, and that's part of why we're teaming as part of the uh, CAA. We're very excited about what that generates in terms of bringing a whole new wave of people into our business. Lake Superior College was a huge advantage for me in that uh, I knew I was going to move back to Minnesota and start flying. I just didn't know when or where and uh, happened upon the program when it moved to Duluth. Theris uh, truly knows no bounds in that uh, they're always pushing the envelope, trying to do something more, trying to increase the safety of general aviation and also trying to increase the comfort of, of general aviation. Lakesbury College has made a huge investment in computerized precision machining equipment that is uh, the same type of equipment that North Star Aerospace uses. That's important as we go into the future. Uh, we make about 290 different parts for the Cirrus aircraft and about half of those go into assemblies and a good share of that half goes into the seats. It's a very complex piece of equipment. In the case of Cirrus, we deliver uh, four aircraft worth of seats every day and it's four seats per aircraft. Uh, we've made a little over 10,000 seats for the Cirrus uh, family of aircraft, and we're very proud of that. It is an exciting time. It's an exciting industry, and uh, we're pleased to have emerged as a leader in our general aviation airplane seat manufacturing. Those steps and those pieces all will come together, um, avionics, manufacturing engineering technology, uh, professional pilots. We've been training here for six years now, and they are in the skies over uh, Duluth and over our region and over our nation. 
We have a Cat 2 10,500 foot runway that can handle virtually any aircraft that's flying today. Secondly, we've seen uh, Cirrus uh, growing at a compound annual growth rate of about 20%. And, uh, and they have a new product coming online in the next few years that I think are going to be exciting. Uh, thirdly, we've built a lot of good support industry around Cirrus. It's just going to require uh, a, a tremendous support, technical support, uh, which begins in education. So that's a very, very exciting opportunity. And we, in this region, uh, I think, can lead uh, the charge and be the leading edge. When you can come to school and be, uh, be in a facility that's uh, on the runway, and when you can see F-16s uh, taking off of that uh, runway, uh, when you can see airliners coming and going, when you can see cargo carriers coming and going, uh, when you can see all the serious activity uh, that just lends to a tremendous learning environment and, and, and excitement for those students as, as they picture what they may want to do in, in the future. To create this kind of vision takes uh, right timing, it takes the right players, it takes the right um, energy to come to that table. And, and now is the right time, uh, Duluth is the right place, and this region is the right region to really uh, have this world a world-class center for advanced aviation. It's, it's an exciting time to be in aviation in Duluth with all the support structure and the critical mass we've developed for expansion into the future.